Oh yeah, two tubes of a CT1. That's in the bucket of hot water. Not boiling hot, just like from the kitchen sink. So they've been there about 20 minutes. Taken off all the excess gunk. So that's what's left. Just get in there. focus so I might just clamp that down one more time what I'll do is I'll leave a what they call like snot on it and just let it go hard in the morning when it's hard I'll trim that off see how that looks so fingers crossed it looks like a good job I'm just gonna some snots here I'll just clean that up cheers guys yeah what I've done I've gone round again, I'll just go two turns of each screw and just got a little snot bead all around there so I might leave it like that or as I said when it goes hard trim it off in the morning um, but what I'd like to know guys is would you have took this off afterwards and put a massive joint around these screw holes or do you think it'd be right as it is yeah I'd be uh, interested for some feedback on that so yeah, fingers crossed, that should be okay. What I do, what I might do is just like, I've got a bit of a lip there, I might put another bead around there, and just angle it off with the other knife there. Put a nice uh, neat finish on that. Oh, I do apologize, I'll just, <laughs> I'll just hit my phone with the, uh, with the scrapings of the CT1, and that's just hit me. I've uh, just got a quick look, it's on me flash. So I've got to wipe this off. All right, guys, cheers. Bye. Morning, guys. All right, drain's all done. I jumped the gun, I actually sealed this up yesterday, Saturday. Yeah, yesterday being Saturday, I've done it all yesterday, so put the cover over it during the night just because it had rain. It's okay, but. Yeah, it seems alright, quite pleased with that. But, uh, I'm, I might now leave this for a week. So I've got other bits of pieces I'm going to be carrying on with, so I'll put this leave this a week. I might trim that off, or I might just leave it. So it's got a bit of a bead around it, a little bit of a lip on. I don't think it causes any problems, but not too sure. Just leave it as it is, or whether take this flange back up, put a Still around that and then screw it back down. I don't know. Any suggestions on that? Yeah, so if, I don't know. So, yeah, appreciate any uh, advice on that. I'll just leave it. Uh, what I just made up now is uh, a bit of tube in there. I'm going to put a, obviously an airline through that. And uh, I'll, I'll get uh, an air ring to sit on top of the cap. So, I'll get that set in, put in one day next week. So it's a bit of an old conduit, 45 on that and glued, basically it just runs up. Yeah, plenty of uh, spare on that, I'll just trim it, trim it off where I need be. But what I'll do is, uh, excuse me, I'll see to that on the bed. Um, what I do once I start filling up with water and everything's all finished, all the liners tucks in, whatsoever, in the off cut cuts in the off cuts liner, I just make like a little strap and excuse me, I just pin that somewhere on there like that so it stops it moving and place put about put it about two of those, one near the top and one sort of down in the middle. So yeah, that's just a bit of conduit for my airline feed. Put a ring stone when I get one. Air stone, sorry. So yeah, guys, that's it now. So basically, this is uh, ready for water. Uh, that's probably be about it now. So the next video I'll do will be uh, when I'm topping it up. Right, catch you later, guys. Thanks.